Earlier this month, the GET reconsideration of an instructional resource committee met and voted to ban the book Queer Ducks from its middle school library. That vote was rescinded after the committee determined its vote had been taken illegally, meaning the book is back on middle school shelves for now. But its permanent status is still in limbo. Tonight, we'll show you a closer look at the book and introduce you to people on both sides of the debate. Like it or not, a book is judged by its cover. Queer Ducks by Elliot Schrafer is no exception. It's a kind of summary of the explosion of research within the scientific community in the last 30 years into animals that change sex over the course of their lives, the same sex uh, behavior among animals. It's illustrated with comics that follow one message. In a way, Queer Ducks is just a way of saying like, look, we've been way too narrow about what is natural within nature. And, you know, there's, there's many, many different ways to be in the world. A media review committee met and voted to pull the book off the shelves after complaints from the community that argued the book encouraged sexual grooming. Board member at the time, Paul Kinzer, says the committee voted it out for different so reasons. They went straight to, is it age appropriate? Schrafer said that it is. I'm not interested in creating more LGBTQ plus people. That, a book can't even do that. Um, what I am interested in is making sure that young people realize the diversity of sexual expression in the animal world. But news of the committee's vote brought the community out in force. Adversity makes us stronger, learning makes us wiser. Silence gets us nowhere. Including GET parent Carrie Marley. We need to support all of the kids in the schools. If we take away the resources of these books, the kids don't have those resources to know that they're normal. And she isn't alone. Because there are children hurting. At the board meeting, member Kinzer asked the board to recognize the LGBTQ community, who he says the committee hurt. If you hurt someone, your job is to make them feel better. And I felt like we were not doing they're that. Us. When that didn't happen, Kinzer resigned. That's all. This is about harming already oppressed people and we have to do our best to never ever do that. But some parents agree with the committee. I would think it would be more appropriate to have it in the high school instead of the middle school. And in including the LGBTQ community, how can we find books that would maybe be appropriate that wouldn't have the sexually explicit language. Mom Stacy Klein wants that choice to be up to the parents. I think it's really important that we separate that symbolism of supporting that, you know, any community and then the actual content of the book. But for the author, keeping the book on shelves means something. But knowing it was there would mean there's someone that acknowledges that, like, this is this is a way to be that, that like we can talk about and, and include even just a small show of support, which including a book in a library is, is, is really important. From cover to cover in Trempolo County, Emily Haugen, News 8 Now. GET board president Larry Moore said in an email that the original members of the committee that voted to remove the book will have to meet again to discuss the book's status. The school board itself has no role in the content complaint process. No date and time is scheduled, but Moore says the board hopes to plan to figure out how so many mistakes were made so they can do better moving forward.